hey, if you want to save the day, have your multi-tool on you. Just like I talked about in my Rule of Law Everyday Carry series of videos, uh, I generally try to have my multi-tool on me all the time. Uh, my, one, my preferred one is the Leatherman S2 Juice. I love that multi-tool. have a separate review on it. But maybe sometimes that's too big. And maybe for some users that might be more money than they want to spend. Well, there's some good mini multi-tool options out there. And here's one of them. This is a Gerber Clutch MT or multi-tool that's extremely affordable. Only around $12. Maybe a little bit less. Maybe a little bit more wherever you're getting it from. It would make a great gift idea, by the way, for whoever. Whoever you think could use an MT. The clutch is a lot of multi-tool for the money, and there's a lot of features I like about it. Um, it's relatively compact. We'll start off with that. Squarish in shape, as you can see. Um, there are slimmer and more uh, size-efficient mini multi-tools out there, and I'll show you that when I end the review. But for 12 bucks, it's a lot. Let's start off with the pliers, and the pliers on this mini multi-tool are actually quite effective. Um, don't expect to get a lot of cutting performance or a, you know, a full set of pliers in this size. It's just not going to happen. What you're going to get are mini, multi, mini pliers. And you know what? They generally will do most of the tasks that you need pliers to accomplish. Maybe untying knots, maybe cutting some paper clips or other thin wire. I wouldn't try to attack some really thick wire with these, even though there's your wire cutter right there. Nor would I try to unspin some very heavy duty bolts with them, even though you have a knurled jaw right there where you can actually grasp the shaft of some bolts or the head of a bolt and spin it. Just keep in mind the limitations of the size you're talking about. It's a, you know, it's a function of physics. Pliers are pretty precise. They come together fairly precisely. I like how long the jaws are. That's good if you've dropped something and you need to grab it in some confined spaces. The clutch pliers would serve very nicely in that regard. There's no serrations towards the tip, and a lot of users will like that because that makes it able to pick up a very fine item, you know, whatever that is. Maybe it's a, a roll pin or something along those lines. Nice pliers. They are spring-loaded, like most multi-tool pliers are of this size. Well, I shouldn't say most. Some of them. But decent pliers on that clutch. Nice. Now, like on many multi, uh, many multi tools, most of your tools are going to be on the exterior. The whole interior is taken up by those pliers. Okay, this is the mini form factor we're talking about. If we go to the exterior, that's where we're going to find our blades. And we'll start off with the blade. And actually, even though it's got that goofy indentation in it, in it, this is a very nice and large blade for a multi tool. A mini multi-tool, I should say, MT. Nice. Yeah, it's made of Gerber's Mystery Steel, but it's adequate for the purpose, you know. I did sharpen it up with a ceramic stone. The edge that came on it wasn't super great. But another thing I like about it, other than the size and the shape, it's a nice clip shape, very functional with some belly. But it's also double ground. It's not chisel ground kind of like the Leatherman Squirt P4 uses, and I don't like chisel ground blades. Whether I'm talking about my multi-tool, my knives, I just don't like them. And this is a conventional ground blade. Good job, Gerber. Love that. So that's a pretty good blade for a mini multi-tool. And actually, it's, uh, it's large enough where you could probably dispense with a, another blade altogether, you know, if size and weight and simplicity was a factor in your everyday carry system. You can just use the blade on your clutch. It's not fast deployable, pretty much not, but it's there. Here's your fingernail file. A little bit rough on that surface. It's, I think they could have done a little bit of a finer texture on their file, but at least it has one, and that's more that can be said than a lot for a lot of multi-tools. And your you know, di nail digger there as well. Flipping it over, here's your Phillips driver, and it is a two-dimensional variety. In other words, it is not three-dimensional, but it works, as we've seen with the bits for the Leatherman Charge series. I mean, those use two-dimensional bits, and they're very effective. You won't be able to get the torque that you want um, just by virtue of its size, so it doesn't really matter if it's two-dimensional or three-dimensional. If you want to go 
with a three dimensional bit, then you need to be willing to carry more weight and more bulk. And the flip side to that is you'll have more torque capability as well. But for most Phillips driving situations you'll encounter, that bit will work just fine. A little bit of a criticism, most of the tool extractions on the clutch are a little bit difficult. You really got to dig your thumbnail in there to get them. Here's your flat bladed screwdriver. That functions well. Kind of a mini cap lifter. I have not used that cap lifter in use, so it looks a little bit shallow to me. Um, but don't know about how, how, how effective that would be. This is the mini screwdriver flat version, and this is a criticism I'll level against the clutch. When it came to me, it was very thick indeed. And let me give you a background on this so it'll focus. So what I did is I ground it. Probably could have done a better job at grinding it, but I needed to have it. Uh, and I did use this for a number of months in EDC roll to see how it would work. But I found that this mini screwdriver, as it comes from Gerber, is too thick. There's a lot of tiny screws that it just wouldn't fit, so I ground it down to a thinner termination, as you can see, and it made it a lot more effective. Uh, and that's an easy modification. You can do it with a file, too, and finish it off with some 400 grit sandpaper, which you can see I pretty much did not do. Just kind of left it rough. These are some tweezers in the clutch, and haven't used those tweezers really. I don't know how effective they are. But at least you got them. They don't open too wide, so if that's a factor for you, you might want to consider it. 2.4 ounces is not super light for a mini multi-tool. But remember, we're getting some pretty sizable pliers for the format and also a big blade. Um, the competition for the clutch would be the Leatherman Squirt P4, my favorite of the mini Leathermans. I have a separate review video on this, so I don't want to go in detail on its features. But let's compare real quickly the pliers against the P4 versus the clutch. The clutch are going to have a little bit bigger pliers, as you can see. Also, it's bead blasted versus just bright stainless steel, if that's a factor for you. Actually, they're not quite as different as I thought they'd be. They're actually fairly similar in size. And the wire cutter on the P4 is a little bit longer. For some reason, I was thinking these were smaller, but they're not. They're about the same. A little bit extra reach with the clutch pliers. Not bad, though. And the blade on the P4, however, is going to take a back seat to that of the clutch. I showed you that blade previously. This is that chisel ground blade that's not quite as appealing to me, at least. But, yeah, it works. I'm not going to show you the other tools uh, the, except the file. I do prefer the file on the P4. Love that file. It's awesome. It's not just a nail file, but it's a multi-purpose file you can use for everything. Now, I brought this out primarily to show you the size difference. And I do think that the P4 is going to be more size efficient than the Clutch Gerber. You can see that it's smaller, both in length. Overall width is about the same. Actually, the P4 might be just a little bit wider, but this is lighter by half an ounce. And yet it has all the utility that the clutch um, has, albeit maybe a little bit, uh, I don't know, diminished knife functionality for the reasons noted. But this one's a lot more, too. Uh, the P4 is going to be like double the price of a clutch. So if money is tight and you need a mini multi-tool, the Clutch by Gerber is an excellent choice. It has a lot of functionality for the money. You'd be wise to consider it. That's it. Thanks for tuning in. Nothing Fancy signing off with another MT review.